Right here, I'm gonna take you guys through a ball handling workout you can do by yourself. There's so much more to ball handling than just how fast you can dribble or how hard you can pound the ball. Right here, we're gonna work on being able to manipulate the ball and put it where we want it. We're gonna work on overall ball control, building rhythm and the ability to match your upper body with your feet, building the ability to play relaxed and change pace, and then ultimately giving you drills to tie all this together so that it translates to the actual game. Let's get into it. So just as a way for us to get warmed up right here, we're gonna start with these manipulations over this cone. We can keep it all one hand for right now. So I'll start off right hand, I'll switch it and go left. Notice that I'm shifting my body weight to whichever side the ball is going to. So it's a full body movement, not just your upper body. So now we're gonna go with three manipulation dribbles before we go with any sort of change of hand move. Just mix up those moves, still shifting that body weight on all those manipulation dribbles. So now we're going to go similar idea right here, but we're going to go with the pull between. So you'll take that dribble across that opposite side of the cone and then you'll pull it between your leg and then right back to that opposite side. Now we'll add a change of hand move to these pull betweens. Again, it can be anything that you want. Just make sure you mix it up. Still trying to shift that body weight with each dribble. So we're gonna start working on these pocket pulls right here. You're gonna go with two dribbles and then you're gonna pull that ball from the opposite side of the cone right to your pocket. So imagine like you have a hoodie pocket and you're pulling it right in there. Again, we'll stick with one hand and we'll switch it and go to the other hand. We're gonna stick with those pocket pulls. Now you're gonna take a dribble wherever you want to change up the spot. And after each dribble, you're gonna pull that ball right to your pocket. So as you see, I'm really trying to get as far as I can sometimes. I might almost go behind my back for these dribbles, or I might go as far as I can the opposite direction, just change it up every time. So now we're gonna go same thing, but there's gonna be an exchange with this. So you can go with either between the legs or behind the back after this pocket. By the way, shout out my guy Danny Cooper for this drill. Go check out the trainer player if you guys have not. So we're gonna keep working the same concept, but on the move now. So you can go at a relaxed pace right here where you can make whatever sort of moves you want, but every so often you're gonna pull that ball to your pocket and get to an exchange to that between or behind the back. On those pocket pulls, you can almost imagine like somebody's trying to reach for the ball and you're trying to pull it away to protect it. And then next we'll go same thing, but this time you can go at 100% speed. As you see, I'm changing on my pace right here. So sometimes I'm low and explosive, sometimes I'm high and relaxed, but still mixing in those pockets to exchange every once in a while with these as well. So now we're gonna keep working that theme of being able to move the ball where we want it, but now we're gonna add in a lower body component too. So I'm going with this half spin series right here where I'm gonna start off with a little turn dribble, and then my next dribble is going to be on that half spin where my feet are gonna hit at the same time as that ball. Notice the rhythm I create with when that ball hits the ground and what my feet are doing. You might need to watch this a couple times to pick up on that rhythm, but once you get a feel for it, you can speed it up and really try and challenge yourself with this. So for this next variation, it's gonna be very similar in terms of footwork, but we're gonna start with the pull between instead of that turn dribble. So adding a little bit more complexity to it, but nothing's gonna change with the rhythm or the footwork. And for this last variation, we're gonna go with any double move, but that second move has to be a behind the back, and then you're gonna to get to that half spin right after that. We're gonna take the manipulations on the move now. So I'm taking two dribbles to get side to side, trying to get myself as far as I can with each as well. Really working on making that shift as big as possible. Right here, we're gonna think same idea, but we're gonna go with these shift between the legs for each dribble now, trying to get as far as you can every time that you shift. Right here, we're gonna work a little bit of pace. So going from being relaxed to explosive and taking a dribble out and then getting to some sort of stop. These dribbles can be whatever you want them to be. You're just trying to be as relaxed as possible before then exploding. You can move lateral with these as well. You don't have to stay north south, but really getting comfortable changing heights and changing speeds. Right here, we're gonna end it with a freestyle I like to call Kill the Grass. So you're gonna give yourself any sort of area right here. I just use the circle at half court, but you're gonna imagine that there's grass all throughout this area and you're trying to step on or dribble on every blade of grass in this area. 
using different moves, changing up your speeds, trying out new things. This is just a great way for you to be able to get a good feel for some of the stuff that we've been working on and push yourself with different combinations, different paces, and different moves. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you click the top link in my description below to get my free Elite Perimeter Score workout. Go ahead and drop a like and subscribe if you're new. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.